Signals on Ice 1.3, Lagos Shocks. My name is Adewomi Ushodi. Well, it's the last Saturday in the month of. Is it June? Yes, June. <laughs> June. Uh, signal, we'll go straight to Signals Business where we pitch and sell our businesses in 30 seconds. Your name, your location, what do you sell? What's unique about your business? What's special about your product, your service? And how can we reach you? Your WhatsApp line is fine. The numbers to call is 0809-191-3913. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. The numbers to call is 0809-191-3913 or 0809-222-0913. Zero one five one five zero nine one three. The signals business, so we pitch and sell our businesses in thirty seconds. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Okay. Hello, good morning. Please reduce the volumes of your radio set, your name, your location, what do you sell, what's unique about your business, and how can we reach you? Hello, good morning. Hello? Hello, Adewumi. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Your name, where are you calling us from? Okay, uh, my name is Michael. No, 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 Michael, not this morning, not this morning. Thank you. Hello, good morning. <laughs> Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Your name, where are you calling us from? No, my name is Prince Hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, my name is Prince Hello. 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 Okay, so how can we reach you? Okay. It signals business, so repeat our businesses in 30 seconds. Michael, I am not picking your calls, and you know why. Hello, good morning. Hello, Hello. Hello good morning. Good Morning, your name or where are you calling us from? Yeah, my name is my name my, my name is sorry I'm sorry this I'm really sick right now. Sorry. I'm from Malaria. Can you please I need help please? And please I'm a videographer, I don't mind videoing anybody for free or taking pictures. I stayed on the island. So, so how can we reach you? Please. My number is zero seven zero mm -hmm. three five nine mm -hmm. three seven three seven again and mm -hmm. three last. You're welcome. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, please. Hello. Good morning. Okay. Please reduce the volumes of your radio set. The numbers to call the signals business 10 to 10 15. The numbers to call is 009-191-3913. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Please reduce the volume of your radio set. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Hello, good morning. The signals business will pitch and sell in 30 seconds. Please reduce the volumes of your radio set. Numbers to call is 0151 or 0151 Zero nine one three. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. My name is Mazuri. 
Hello? I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. My name is Manzi Obi. Who are you calling? I am from Fairfax Town. Okay, what are we saying? But I'm from Obedience Family. What so, I am a professional plumber. AKA, academic plumbing. We are the best hand in plumbing. We give you quality for your money. We have over 20 years of experience in plumbing. Okay. We do water treatment, four holes, building maintenance, and so on. Sure. My WhatsApp number is 070 Thank you. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Please speak up. Good, good morning. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Okay, my name is Kazim. So I say that I would have to learn. So I repair phone and laptop. So is anybody need my service? Can you Call your number for us, please. 070 4099 Thank you. Signals business will repeat and sell in 30 seconds. Your name, your location, what do you sell? What's unique about your business and how can we reach you? The number to call is 009 234 Zero eight zero nine one nine one three nine one three or zero zero nine triple two zero nine one three zero one five one five one nine one three. It signals business, your name, your location, what do you sell? What's special about your product, your service, and how can we reach you? Your WhatsApp line is fine. We have like three to four minutes to go, so let's make use of the time. Please reduce the volumes of your radio set. Zero zero nine two three four five nine one three or zero zero nine one nine one three nine one three zero one five one five one nine one three zero one five one five zero nine one three or zero one five one five one nine one three signals business or repeat and sell in thirty seconds. Your name, your location, what do you sell? What's unique or special about your product, your service, and if you want to sell on beer for someone, now is the time to do so. 015151913 009 Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Please reduce the volume of your radio set. My name is Jonathan Yardi. Okay. I am a professional blue player. Okay. I'm doing a good pressure. So, how can we reach you? Your number. I'm living at, my your number, number is zero 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 mm -hmm. eight one mm -hmm. two nine zero nine four five. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? Uh, uh, I deal with uh, flags in all the countries of the world. I sell your flags. And also for Facebook, I sell a signal flag. And uh, my number is zero eight one six nine six seven eight six six nine. Please, what's your name? My name is Raphael. Okay, Raphael from where? Raphael from Apopan. Okay, then thank you. Zero zero nine. Two three four five nine one three. If you're calling me, you're speaking up, you're reducing the volumes of your radio sets, you're telling me your name, what you do, where you're calling us from, what's unique about your business, and how can we reach you? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? My name is Bayo. Thank you, Bayo. From from, from Badure. Okay. Reduce Badure, the volume of your, Okay. Reduce the volume of your radio set. 
0092340913 Hello good morning Hello Hello good morning Good morning Yeah please I, please I got a word to complain eh please uh, please uh, in fact in fact we probably have been a very nice job please eh can you allow me to be calling the the number two times a day No problem Thank you um, so here's the thing, right? Because it's 30 seconds, we have to call our numbers very quickly and very loud. If that's fine. 009-234-5913. I have two minutes to go. So your name, your location, what do you sell? What's unique about your business and how can we reach you? We are going to call your number. Call it very loud and clear. Thank you. Um, if you're just tuning in for the very first time, it's signals. We have signals business where we sell and pitch in 30 seconds. So you have somebody that has markets that you know. Tell them to call us and let them sell. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? Hello, my name is Okay. So what do you want to sell to us this morning? Like my number. Oh yeah, call your number. Where my one? Okay, that's not. It's all right. Your name, your location. I have like one minute to go. Your name, your location. So meaning that, what's your name? Where are you calling us from? What are you selling? What's unique about your business? And how can we reach you? Your WhatsApp line. So, zero one five one five one nine one three. Or zero one five one five zero nine one three, or zero eight zero nine two three four five nine one three, zero zero nine one nine one three nine one three, zero zero nine triple two zero nine one three. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name, or where are you calling us from? I'm Bayo from my bad area. Okay, thank you for calling back. I'm an ethnic management. I've been with a land property. Mm -hmm. If somebody wanted to rent a house, so I'm involved. I used to rent a house for people. Okay, so so. My, my, uh, number, my WhatsApp number is, uh, my number is uh, 070 mm -hmm. 65 1399. Thank you. Okay, one more. Let's do one more. Who's going to be our last caller for this segment? 009 0091 Hello, good morning. Hello? Anybody home? Okay, then. That's it for Signals Business. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Have you been disconnected because you didn't link your national identification number to your MTN number? Don't worry. <laughs> if you already have your NIN, here are five ways to reconnect. Okay. One, so. seven, eight, five, hash. <laughs> Two, text your national identification number NIN to 785. Three, chat with Ziggy on WhatsApp number plus 234 Four, visit my MTN NG app. Uh, so or five, visit www.mtn.ng. Um, if you don't have a national identification number, just walk into any MTN store <laughs> I'm not going to read everything. I'm going to go. website to book an appointment. Um, so we're talking capacity today? development. What do we mean by that? Good. There's a new cuisine in town. 
A glass Before. of wine, a cup of coffee, <laughs> and if you're like me, a glass oh, of smoothie. Oh, no, With Signals, served on Lagos Talks 91.3 every Saturday at 10 a.m. Your mind will dream again. No, no, just hold on. Come on. <laughs> I'm looking for a very good position. I'm coming. Good. Yeah, your wife can see you very well. Okay, man. Welcome back to Signals on it's 1.3. Yes, we're back. And it's Signals 10 to 11. 10 to 10 to 15 is where people call in to sell their businesses. And um, now we're talking. Hmm, I cannot pick us again now. We'll do it next week, Saturday. Um, we're talking capacity development this morning. And so, what do we mean by that? I'd quickly read um, the profile of. <coughs> it's plenty, but you know, I like to just pick. Um, it's currently the head. Of learning and development at Canadian Consulting. Prior to his current role, was the acting head of learning and consulting CIPM. He's worked with different organizations and um, he's a dedicated team player who believes in teamwork. His interest includes networking, reading books, learning, adventure, everything, and listening to music. And um, he's a skilled professional with experience in learning and development, curriculum development, training, execution, customer experience management business development management consulting everything together then he comes to say that um he delivers top client experience and it shows customer engagement and satisfaction but really in a lay, layman terms um he's a trainer right and um his name ha you when people have different different titles you have to be sure that you stand on all standing protocols yes <laughs> good I have with me Ibitayo Ugubanwo, and um, welcome to Signals. Thank you so much. Um, it's good to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, are you sure that's my profile you actually read? Before. <laughs> it's plenty now. How many paragraphs? Like three to four paragraphs. But here's the thing, right? Um, hmm. Let me form. Let me form. <laughs> so here's why we're laughing. Yeah. We've come a long way, and you know when your senior is looking at you, like, ah, ah, oh, what is she wear? <laughs> Okay, so we're talking capacity development this morning, okay. and um, practically your profile talks about training, development, and all of that. What is capacity development? First, yeah. let's even just start with it. Explain to us what it is. Okay, um, so first of all, um, when I explain things, I like breaking it down. Good. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for having me. She's. <laughs> I, <laughs> my name is Ibita Yogubawa. Well, that is what I'm very comfortable with that, right? <laughs> Uh, thank you for having me here today. Mm, capacity development. Why don't we just go back a step and break it down? Mm. First of all, what is capacity? Hmm. All right? um, the word capacity, the word capability are used interchangeably, right? Um, a lot of people use it in different contexts, but at times I will say they are similar, but not totally the same. Capacity is basically what is contained in you, what is it you can contain. I'm um, bringing into context of a human being, what is it you have embedded in you? What skills do you have embedded in you? You know he's yeah. a trainer. <laughs> your, your, your capability, your ability to do things. So that is basically what capacity is, right? Now, let's say, what is development? Development is basically you developing yourself or um, a certain entity until growth is actually achieved. So that is what development is, so bringing the two together. It is you just growing what you have in you, the abilities you have, the skills you have, growing it and ensuring that the needle has moved and ensuring that the goalpost has moved from one place to another. Now, there are a lot of things to use to measure things like this. Um, there are different models, different ways to evaluate it. So that's basically what capacity development is. Um, if I might chip this in before she comes in, when people hear capacity development, what do they think? They think it's what it's all about training. No, it's actually way, way more than that. Training is just the subset 
or a fundamental part of capacity development. Training is like a project. It has a start and it has an end. But capacity develop, development is a continuous thing. So it's actually wider than a lot of people um, think. Hmm. Thank you. We are going back to class. <laughs> so here's the thing. You have trained a lot of people. In your years of training, what has stood out for you? Training people. Is it that we, we like learning or we don't like learning? What have you seen so far? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, hope, I hope I won't be flogged <laughs> with the answer I want to give you this. Okay, so um, I think, first of all, inclusive of myself, I think a lot of us are lazy. Uh, why would I say that? Um, we're lazy when it comes to learning. We need an extra push to actually do learning. Now, let me give you an example, a very simple example. And I want us to be truthful to ourselves. When you buy things like phones, brand new phones, um, you buy your car, um, how many of us actually reads the manual, right? How many of us goes through the manual to read? Do you get my point? So in training people over time, I've seen that you need the extra push. I, myself, I even need the extra push right now. So, but one good thing and what we like, what mm, something that actually tickles me well is when I know I've impacted knowledge. You know, the reaction you get from participants when they're saying, hmm, okay, I see. Yeah, those are the things that gives the me joy. The adjusters in the class. Yeah, but you exactly. know, sometimes, <laughs> you know, but yes, now, um, sometimes when, when it has, when learning has hit a core for a lot of people, we want to experience and say, okay, fine, this has gotten up. But you know, after that class learning, yeah. what's, what's next? It's, okay, does so it the, stay with us or does it just go? So a lot of us, because we do not practice what we learn, right? There's a um, proverb by Confucius, um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember, but uh, the more you do things, basically, right, the more you become a master in it. So you can't go to a class and learn something in class and you just go home and do not practice it. Definitely, it's going to go away. The best of the best in the world. Um, let me even give an example. Obama. Obama is where he is today because he learned and he practiced. Before he, become the, he became the president, apologies, right? Mm. He did a lot of reading read his background right you will see he actually attended very good schools and he um, practiced what he learned how answer your question speaking of um he went to very good schools as he's on strike oh <laughs> <laughs> and it's almost as if all the things that they are teaching the students are have gone out the window and um how do you because I, I see curriculum development in the profile yeah. and now as he's on strike I don't even know what it is. When we say as to it's trouble. Mm -hmm. Now, for a lot of students who are outside, how can... Um, I, I know it's not the fault of the students that our government has not to pay us. But what can they do in the meantime? Okay. I think the best advice I will give students, um, see yourself as an entity, right? Put in a little bit of investment. Now, what investment are you putting in it? There's the internet into it. So there's the time management, right? Um, there's the self-development. This is what you call your personal management or your personal development. There are a lot of things you can learn online. The good thing is you have you know, free courses on YouTube. You have a lot of things you can go and learn. But engage in of, things. Sorry, um, but speaking of free courses, you know, it's easier to play games. <laughs> it's easier to um, it's easier to scroll through Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and write and rant and rant. But when it's time for learning, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as if we all want to sleep. <laughs> I number one is good. Like you, you want you want the Udemy courses, Coursera, all of that. You and then you know there's this LinkedIn scam. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> everybody goes and put their certificate. This, this, this yeah. and I want the, Let's go and even do the class. But <laughs> dozing off. What? Why? 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 Why does that happen? Um, I think that takes me back to what I said earlier on. Um, a little bit of laziness in it. If you notice, even at times, Major religiously, laziness. yeah, religiously, when you're reading the Bible, reading the Quran, you, you start feeling sleepy, right? But the truth about life is nothing comes easy. Nobody is where he is today. Look at the best of the best. Um, look at, I, I don't want to mention names, but uh, there's a particular um, corporate fellow who I actually look up to. He is where he is today because, no, I think I can mention names. Yeah, Tony Lemelu, right? He is where he is today. Why? That man has done a lot. Yeah, you can't tell me he's where he is today because he was playing games or just bigot. Yeah, we know so. No, but but really, the, the truth is, is not. Yes, we say time. We say we don't want to be lazy, but it's just like we become 
we become children when it's time for learning. We become like students again when it's time for learning. But to learn is hard. Uh, if, if, if you notice um, online, like the likes of Udemy and the rest, that's mm -hmm. why they've made learning um, fun, right? So there are different types you of learning. You never watch one teacher that, that is teaching <laughs> and you want to be sleeping. <laughs> but the truth is, you need to burn the midnight candle. That is the truth, okay. right? It's mm -hmm. an investment, right? The, the more you increase your value, the better you become in life. You can't tell me... Um, you go to school, okay, you get your BSc, you get your MBA, you get your PhD, your value increases. Now, I understand okay. that a lot of karma comes into place, but... So learning equals value increasing? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. That, it's an investment. <laughs> <laughs> but because we're in a certificated environment, and, and I've used that word, um, when then do we transcend beyond just getting a lot of certificates? truly truly learning okay sadly like you said we're in a certificate based environment yeah. now a lot of people get certificates can they really apply what they what they have been certified in yeah. that's the sad part right um i used to work with um someone before in the past he had just if i'm correct i think it's bsc and i can Be believe you me in the financial world is one of the best mm. um, right um mr buffum liar gusto he's a very very sound person so i've come to understand that certificate is good right mm. but content matters a lot right you mm. see a lot of people with very vast and very um wide cvs okay come and defend your cv can you say anything it becomes a problem Hmm. So that leads me to the workplace culture for new graduates. Hmm. Um, what should they expect? It's true. Yeah. Because, yes, they've sent, and I, I, I can't begin to imagine the different CVs that different companies receive. And when it's time Very to true. deliver, it's a lot of headache. Yeah. So, what should they, for the people who skill through and finally get the jobs that they desire, and even if you don't desire it, you have to earn money, <laughs> <laughs> what then should they expect? At the uh, workplace. Okay, so the, the the thing about it is, I would say for the Gen Zs, that's the new hmm. generation coming into the workplace. You, you, you know, <laughs> short fuse. <laughs> I'm see. God bless you for the short you just, fuse. Very short fuse. Very. So it's. I think it's both ways. Mm. It is from the part of the new generation coming into the organization. Some of the things you need to expect. You need to understand the culture going into the place. Um, you're going into a, a place where the uh, culture is different from theirs um the respect you can't talk to your boss anyhow you can't question and the likes um and at the same time even we ourselves are already in that space we need to understand that these people have a different um culture so there should be a form of compromise um there was an um there was a conference i attended i think this was 2019 2020 and someone spoke about it um the new generation right now they're actually <laughs> are disruptors serious you? disruptors some of them are actually going further to say, you know what, don't pay my pension, give me my pension. I don't want it, you to pay it, right? They are questioning status quo. Now, um, we, the older generations, either you like it or not, they are actually smart. So you can't take that away from them. Yeah, so there should be a compromise. Smart, mm. We to want to play culture, like I'm with that you watch Exactly, the, the black man culture. <laughs> but I think if there's just a compromise and we go the extra mile to understand them, they're actually very, very, very smart. So how then do we, um, we talked about balance, how then does, um, no, is it how then, wait, it's English, this is English is my problem right now. Um, it's not your major language, don't worry, uh, you're African. <laughs> we're talking balance, right? Yes. How then does companies connect with them? Mm. Do we change our organizational structure because of Gen Z or how then do we adapt them into the system? Okay, so the... Either we like it or not, they are here and they are here to stay, right? So it's either an organization says, I am not going to employ anybody and run itself without people or you look for a way to accommodate them. So mm -hmm. to an extent, you need to start tweaking policies and procedures to accommodate them. You know, um, the conference I said I went for, what the person said really tickled me a lot because he said they are the generations coming. So it's as if you have... Um, a multitude of participants are um, applying for a job. You do not have any other option. You must choose from that bouquet. You have no choice to actually tweak your um, procedures and policies to actually be able to meet them. Now, but do not change who you are in the process of trying to accommodate them. That is my own opinion in it. Mm. 
Okay. Wait, I shan't agree. Um, <laughs> elections are around the corner, and you are more involved there. <laughs> you have moved from Chorosikri to constantly talking. Okay. And um, what what do you think that um, the Gen Z should should do? And I'm asking this because recently, I think it was during the week, a lot of people have been saying, "Don't lose relationships because of politics. Don't mm -hmm. lose this." And people are like, whether we lose it or not, we just want a right man in government. Okay. So it's a bit. Everybody's emotions are high. Yes. So how do we now, what do you tell them? Because uh, <laughs> we read it. <laughs> like, they're posting, they're ranting, and it's, it's really their rights. But I'm, it, with the generation saying that don't lose relationships, yeah. don't do this, don't do that. It's almost as if before you click a retweet button, you won't do that. I always know by far in the future. <laughs> I, I understand the part of don't lose relationships. Uh, but my own personal opinion, I see myself as youth. I'm still very young. <laughs> so... But the major thing is, first of all, your life is very important. In the process of trying to campaign, um, <laughs> protest, and the life, and the rest, first of all, if you are alive, you there's a future in front of you. You can't make a change if you're down, right? So first of all, ensure safety. Then after that, let your voice be heard. Um, I've been seeing a lot of campaigns about the PVC, go and get in your PVC, your vote counts, and the likes. Yes. Um, although, in my own personal opinion, I think um, answering that um, with respect to the elections, I think if we can go a little bit further, I know it might cost us a lot, um, but if you, if you want to get something right, it's mostly expensive. Um, maybe INEC can actually say in the nearest future, each party bring your candidates then let the masses, and not just delegates, let the masses vote for the preferred candidate. So let me just do it quick calculation, right? Um, let's say we have 10 parties and, it, and each party produces 10 candidates. So that is 100 in total, right? Mm -hmm. So the masses, when I say the masses, the populace of Nigeria, inclusive of myself, we vote for each um, um, for each candidate in a party. So you are cutting it down from 10 to 1 in a party. At the end of the day, you have 10 candidates. Then now, the old masses, which will now be the major general election, will now vote out of the 10. So you streamline, streamline from 100 to 1. I believe we will have a better process, but that's just my opinion. And come and look for tire. Come and take it, come and take it, come and take it. Uh, signals on is 1.3. We're talking capacity development with Ibitai or Gubango. And um, if you have questions or comments, call us. Call us and WhatsApp us on 9 Two three four five nine one three or zero one five one five one nine one three. What's up? Zero zero nine two three four five nine one three. Call us zero zero nine one nine one three nine one three or zero zero nine triple two zero nine one three. We're talking capacity development and it, it's it's really around learning and development. There's something I, I read. Um, in your profile, you talked about teamwork. Mm -hmm. You believe in teamwork. And um, hmm. tell us. <laughs> so, first of all, um, the thing about teamwork is everybody involved on the team, you know, like they say, there's no I in a um, team, right? Mm -hmm. um, you should all have the same goal, the focused on the same goal. Now, once there, you know, there are different stages of. Um, um, bringing a team together, storming, norming, and the likes, right? So it's normal to have um, issues um, in a team. But at the end of it, if everybody sees the same goal, if we're all going to the same exit, we will all come together to ensure that the project we're working on will actually be successful. Now, there might be differences along the line, which is normal. Husband and wife fight, brothers and sisters fight, which is normal. But when it comes to teamwork, if you do it well, if there's good coercion, the product or the end product will actually be very nice. But in a situation where we have differences, um, it actually affects the productivity of that team. So I am very big on teamwork. Okay, so very big on teamwork. Um, and um, tell us, just give us an example of where the team did not, the team decided to go their separate ways. <laughs> <laughs> because there would always be people who don't want to work in a team, that all, uh, people I can do it by myself, and, and the rest will not be done. I think one of the major issues in line with what you just said is um, pride, ego, ah, right? So, I know better than you. <laughs> exactly. So, um, you know, the seven cardinal sins, that's the seven deadly sins, and pride is one of the major one of it. Um, out of the seven sins, if I'm correct, um, pride is um, the major one that connects a whole lot of it. Now, if you, if you can let down your ego, you will see that 
you are you're probably not the best right so one issue people have is i am the best and there's this issue again in communication there's this um tone. narcissist yeah tone talking over each other um narcissist communicator i want my voice to be heard but in a situation where there's self-respect right there's wisdom to be able to um, understand people emotional intelligence too comes into play um, if I might just chip this in um, stages of learning um, there are basically four the four or five stages of learning there's the unconscious incompetence my definition of that is you do not know that you do not know those are the people that will never listen to you they do not know that they do not know right the second stage is what conscious incompetence you have realized that you do not know at that point in time, you could possibly now, okay, you will reduce your ego, right? That is the second stage. Now, what is the third stage? Conscious competence. Now, you are being conscious that you are becoming competent. You are now knowing that, yes, you know uh, from time to time and you're learning. The fourth stage is unconscious competence, right? You're already getting to the stage of mastery. You're not even thinking about it. It just comes naturally. For example, Oshodi, she's doing what she's doing without even thinking about it. Then the last stage is mastery. If people can just take their time to go through the stages, believe you me, that ego will come down. <sighs> You're already a walking encyclopedia. <laughs> because, so this is, it waits now. <laughs> just, just keep on me a bit. Okay. So five stages of learning. Yeah. The first one is unconscious. Incompetence. Ha. You do not know that you do not know. Somebody said this, you do not know, I didn't understand. <laughs> and, and I'm like, so, so it means that for, for, a, for a lot of us sometimes, we think we know, but we don't know. Actually, you don't know. And, but you know, that point where submitting to learning, it's a lot of... It's a, it's a lot. It's psychologically a lot. You need to have that mind, mindset change. That's where change comes into play. So, one, two... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, I want uh, you to talk to me about it. <laughs> so the unconscious incompetence, that's the first stage. Um, <laughs> you should not abuse somebody with that language. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like you're saying, no, I don't use the word. <laughs> right. So, you, you know, at times when you notice that this is the case, you don't want to argue. It's like someone arguing with you and telling you um, the sky is heaven, right? Mm. If you pass the sky, you will meet God, In the, ir irrespective of the religion. You know that is not the case. So are you going to argue? You just be going just to avoid trouble exactly so you, you the person doesn't know that he or she doesn't know you might not abuse someone <laughs> because you, you, it's just like saying that um, i'm someone that i get i'm tickled by learning right it's, it's, it's something that makes me happy it's obvious. Um, i believe you learn till you die the moment you believe i know it all you know, that, that's a very big problem. That is the pride I was talking about. You become an unconscious and competent person. You understand my point? So um, the, I, I derive pleasure in it. Mm. Uh, I can say I am tickled by, by intellect, right? The, I don't, I don't want to say the more intelligent you are, but I just believe that when I can help people impart knowledge, when I can help you clear a problem, when I can um, be, provide a solution to a problem, we don't know it all, we're all learning. <laughs> I cannot move past unconscious competence. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now, um, okay. <laughs> the number to call is 09 5913 we're talking capacity development and you know most times people just say oh grow capacity yeah and people always say that when they say grow capacity what do they really mean okay so um and i'm having to take you back to the first question but let's no but it's fine you know so um the thing is like i said then people miss i don't want to say mistake but i use the words loosely. interchangeably yeah loosely okay so that's capacity and capability so when you're saying great you just basically then grow what is in you what you have the skills you have um are you are you a doctor the skills you have that makes you a doctor mm. great from time to time um yeah are you a lawyer great from time to time that's basically okay but um a bit again let's let's go back 
to say that most times when you meet young people and, and i use young people as an example um you tell them go and develop yourself and they're wondering what am i to develop <laughs> yes and you know you do not make them feel and you know nigerians we don't know how to talk sometimes by the time they abuse you like this you want you got to think about your life <laughs> i want you so what am i going to do yeah. and so so for a young person who is listening and and you're saying we're talking capacity development how and they're saying I don't know anything and and it's true it's so yeah. genuine that it's genuine genuine that they actually don't know anything so they have it but they don't know how to unnest it okay right so how do we what do we tell them to do okay so first of all um, I think one of the mistakes that we make is you just tell people to do things without guiding that is not fair there should be some form of coaching involved in it um, like we know um, capacity development hold on a second okay. hello good morning. Please do call us back. Reduce the volumes of your radio set 009-191-3913. Or WhatsApp us. WhatsApp is good. 009-234-5913. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, so, like I was saying, uh, you just tell them today a lot of things without coaching them. And like we know, capacity development basically talk um are three aspects as the individual as the people involved in it you're looking at the organization mm -hmm. um, or the entity then you're looking at the um, environment that mm -hmm. is the system so to answer your question directly what do you tell them okay i want you to increase your skills develop the skills you have first of all what is your passion what do you like doing um for people that like speaking for example look for something that goes to that aspect if um, people are some people are very very good in maths right mm -hmm. if you're good with numbers why don't you look at something that has to do with numbers? If you're good with operational aspects, if you're good with your hands um, as an engineer, okay, so what is it you need, You have inside you? So first of all, you need to do an analysis. Um, step, steps in learning, or will I say? Um, so le learning basically talks about, uses a particular model. There are other models, but there's one that is mostly used, which is the ADI model. Now, the ADI model that is... Um, Okay, the ADI model, apologies, I was mm. getting too carried away. <laughs> okay. Our class. <laughs> the ADI model, uh, that is A for analyzing. So first of all, analyze what you have in you that you want to develop. Mm. Then, so the ADI model is the A for analysis, the D for design, second D for um, develop, the I for implementation, and the E for evaluation. So no matter what you do, no matter the project you go into, you need to evaluate it. What was the major reason for going into that project? What was the major reason for developing the skill I have in myself to be a better person, to be a better doctor? At the end of the day, evaluate yourself. What did you know before? What did you know now? Do you okay. understand? Yeah. Okay. So okay. the um, online learn and relearn now comes into play. So you can use that as a form of um, evaluating yourself. There are different, different evaluation models that you can or we all can use. Hmm. Networking. I, I have a WhatsApp message, but I'm I'm, I'm coming. Mm. Um, networking. networking. Tell us ways. Okay. Yeah. Tell us ways younger people with little or no experience can network. Mm. So networking, either you like it or not. Um, okay, this falls under the behavioral skills. You must be able to relate with people well. Interpersonal skills comes into play. You must be able to um, speak well. Communication is actually very good. As we know, communication is two ways. There's a difference in informing someone. Does the person understand you or not? If the person doesn't understand you, you've not in, um, communicated yet. So to build a good network, you must be able to communicate well. You must be able to um, interact well. your interpersonal skills. Emotional intelligence too comes into play. You want to build a network with someone. You notice the person is actually not looking good and you go there and you start saying hey, my name. Mm -mm. There are ways you should be able to common sense shoot comes into shots. play now. Yeah, hey, shoot your shots. That's common sense yeah. now comes into play. Yeah. And yeah. make sure you build it and hold on to it. Okay. Um I have see, this is a political question. <laughs> so it says money in Lagos talks Oshodi. Okay, so my name is Oshodi. Oshodi, ask your guest when the world the masses are in part of a political party help decide for the party who emerges. If the masses want to get involved, let them join a political party and influence who comes out in the primaries. In fact, as a party member, you can influence if your party goes for indirect primaries. And that is what that is one that involves delegates or indirect primaries that forces the party to even develop democracy internally and now transcend that to votes that will be casted nationwide if they win. His name is General Ulutoye from Ikoi. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> He's not the political person. I'm the one who's <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, thank you so much, General. Um, so the truth about it is, when it comes to politics, <laughs> politics is um, <laughs> as old as man. So we all just want the best for the country, right? And we understand that there will be different views, different opinions. Um, I totally agree with what you're saying, that different systems. So I, I believe if we can get different brains together to come and brainstorm, right? Brainstorm and look at the best way for Nigeria. Now, um, I stand up, I say my opinion, my opinion. I believe selfishness is already coming into play. That's the humble truth. The moment I start using I, I my wife is actually my um, gisting partner. And I tell her, the moment you start using I, you're already getting selfish. So I agree with your opinion. I just believe um, different opinions, different ideas can be brought together, um, shuffle it together, then see the best way. Um, <laughs> that's the end. No, that's the end. <laughs> uh, so we're interested in knowing how to ensure clients ensure client engagement when many clients oh, are usually not very easy mm. to manage. Um, there's a popular saying, um, <laughs> customer, client is the king. Right? Everybody's now king. <laughs> Everybody's now king. Which you can actually know your personality types. Um, there are website that does it for free, 16%, 16 exactly, 16personalities.com. Uh, you know, they're the major four ones, the monocular name. Uh, See, wait, 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 mm. wait, give that English first. <laughs> Let's just come to it. And how do we handle clients who are very I, I, it's almost like a constant in in the questions that people begin to complain that okay fine i want your money um mm. i know i'm supposed to deliver a service but you are you want annoying. to squeeze me yeah. just say the word you're annoying <laughs> <laughs> no, annoying is i can say you want to squeeze no, every the juice, out of, you. <laughs> the juice <laughs> out of me okay so um i'll give a just an example first before I answer the question that mm. I did. So I went for a meeting, I met um, a very senior HR professional who were trying to sell some training services to her some years ago uh, on a customer service to be precise. And she said she was interviewing a particular lady um, and she asked the lady, she's in the health sector, if a patient comes in very irate, very vexed and slaps you, what will you do? She said during the interview process, the lady told her I will slap her back and that was the end. Now, sadly, um, that is not it. You can't treat a client like that. You are dealing with a, with an irate client, a client that is pissed off, very, very vexed. Emotional intelligence comes into play. You need to keep your calm. If you know, I tell people, if you know you're about to flip and bust, please call a colleague to come and handle it. You, are, you must never do that. It's, it's totally wrong. Ethically, it's wrong. That's the truth. Sadly, it is wrong. But it is the job you are being paid for. Mm. And that is why you are there at that point in time. Mm. And sadly, if you react badly to that client or customer, the customer will not remember your name. The customer will remember the organization and the brand. Mm. So you need to be very, very careful. Okay. <laughs> sadly. Uh, uh, we, we are in business to make money. <laughs> so you have to become... Um, generally, we, we want... Um, how can we make learning fun? Oh, okay. So there are, there are a lot of methods that have been put into it, um, whether online or physical, mm. that are synchronous or asynchronous. Um, there are ways. Like, there, there, so <laughs> we have to be taking dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there are a lot of ways. There's um, videos. Um, you can play games. You can um, um, a lot of simulations that have actually been put into learning that scenario plays where possibly you're doing a customer service um, training, you're doing a financial training, you do a role play, let people actually come out and act it out. Um, mm -hmm. You do a lot of games, you do a lot of energizers in between. Then um, there's something I want to say, especially for facilitators now, the person delivering the training, your delivery style must be actually top notch and on point. You must understand your audience, know your audience. Um, you can't be facilitating or taking a class of people that are 50 and above and you're, you're reacting or acting to them like you're speaking to people in their 20s. No, it won't work. First of all, they will not be off. They are not ready to listen to you. So that's one of the major things. Know your audience then. Ensure you put in a lot of models, um, videos, games, um, real plays, exercises. Those things actually engage and involve um, your participants in class, which will impact knowledge. Okay, so for a lot of for a lot of us that want to keep learning, because they, they would always say, keep learning, keep learning. Yeah. Um, what should be our own attitude to learning? Because there's one thing for the facilitator to 
make learning fun. There's one thing also from the part of this. Participants. Yes. <laughs> okay, so my advice is, first of all, you need a mindset change. You need to understand that you need what you're learning. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> so I have gone through Lagos traffic. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have gone through everything that can be everything Nigeria that yeah. can happen I and like I'm coming everything Nigeria yes everything Nigeria <laughs> that can happen and I am still coming to go and listen to Tayo what should I look forward to okay so um, this is where emotional intelligence comes into play I, I should be able to engage my class if I see my class I'm not even responding look for a way to talk to them bring them up to speed after you have tried everything yeah, you know there's, there's some there's some parts from here <laughs> You know, there's a state, there's a saying that says, um, you can take the horse to a river. You can't force them to drink. You can't force them to drink. So, as a facilitator, do not stop. Try your best. Continue doing it. Bring in games. Bring in things that will involve them and make them more relaxed. The moment they are relaxed, they will listen to you. You can't go and meet a hungry man and start preaching to him. No, give him food first. Hmm. Do you understand my point? I'm telling you. <laughs> really, um, to, to learn. Is there any metrics for human development? Yes. Okay. Um, so first of so all, that I, I know as a person that I'm growing, and these are the metrics I should look out for. So um, everything in life is measurable, right? I will speak a little bit about performance management in this. Everything in life is measurable. Uh, metrics are just basically putting indicators for you to be able to measure. I'll give a typical example. Okay, um, I asked a third party, um, "How beautiful is um, Oshodi?" Right? You'll be hearing answers like, she's fine, she's beautiful, she's there. She's she doesn't there. need to wake me up. <laughs> that is subjective. It mm. is not objective. Is it measurable? No. Right? Mm. But in a situation where I say, on a scale of one to five, how beautiful is Oshodi? Mm. You'll start hearing things like three, four, five. Now, in a situation where you say three, you know, a um, scale of one to five, one being the lowest, five being the highest, three. What does that mean? That's 60 over by 100 you're measuring if it's four that's four over five that is 80 percent right mm -hmm. so there are ways to actually measure um so there's a very very easy way to measure when you want to start a class you have participants in class you can just give them a list of questions like five or ten they are not it's not an exam they answer the questions you collect it at the end of the class give them the same set of questions again you will actually see that the needle has moved that knowledge has been impacted at the beginning what do you see People might get three, four, five, six. At the end of the class, I can assure you, you will, most of the scores will be seven, eight, nine, ten. It shows that there's been a level of what learning. Now, whether they um, um, practicalize it after leaving the class, that is a different ball game entirely. <laughs> um, so quickly take us back because my time is up. But quickly take us back to the five stages of learning, <laughs> so that no, 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 no. So really. Now, why am I asking you? It's so that when we, when we, we always find ourselves there. Yeah. When we get to that point, we're able to tell that, okay, fine, this is where I am. This is yeah. not where I am. This is where I'm supposed to be. Okay. So that's why I ask you. Not, not because I want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, the first being unconscious incompetence. You will not abuse somebody yeah. without watching. Yeah, all, no, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a good thing to say, right? It means you do not know that you do not know. Mm. That can be done through, um, People trying to inform you, people around you trying to explain to you in a better way. But the moment you cross that level, which I believe is the hardest level, the rest, they are all easy. Because the next one, the second stage, is conscious incompetence. Now you know that you do not know. You know, the previous one was you do not know that you do not know. Now you know that you do not know. So because of that, your ego and pride will come down. Oh, it is true. Ah, so I've been saying rubbish all those days, right? Now, the, oh shit, I'm really making me laugh. Sorry. <laughs> now, the third stage um, being conscious competence. Now you've started knowing that you are knowing it, right? Mm -hmm. you, are, you are being conscious of what you do. You are getting there. The fourth stage is unconscious competence. You are not thinking about it anymore. You are just doing it freely. In the last stage, well, it, well, school of thought majorly is four, but some school of thought have um, brought in the fifth one, saying mastery. Mastery, so left to me, the fourth and the fifth one are actually very close. Um, and just to chip this again into it, another thing again is, um, you know, when we receive information, that information yields into what? Knowledge. 
right so when you get the information you now understand now on understanding or in understanding that information mm. it becomes knowledge now when you now have the knowledge which is the skill wisdom right gives you the ability to be able to apply the knowledge where it is required okay yeah. okay so looking back yes, all the trainings what makes you happy about them at the end of the class at um, every end of each class that you yeah. had to train what makes you happy as a rapper what really makes me happy is participants coming to say thank you for unveiling this particular thing from for me right well what makes me happy is knowing that i've impacted knowledge i've changed a little thing in a person the same way people have changed things in me so just hold on we have um, a message and it says quickly how do you um how do you deal with people who acknowledge Wait, oh, okay, who refuse? Who refuse to acknowledge that they are competent? They are not competent. They are not competent. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Quickly. Okay, so I think the best way is um, try um, and talk to from them. any. Okay, I'm um, try and see if you can actually um, coach them, advise them. This is where the little bit of consultancy comes into play, and you must be very patient because as a professional you should be able to uh, measure the person you're speaking with. If the person is still being adamant um, and they have refused using your right words exactly, just try. Try. Okay. Right. okay. Um, thank you so much. You're, you're most welcome. Thank, thank you, you so very, much. Very, very much. Um, yes, I can start now. <laughs> <laughs> so we come your way again next week, Saturday, like we always say on Signals. Dream again. Thank you to everybody who has called, listened in. Um, dream again, create opportunities for people. And because people will refuse to create opportunity, keep creating. Have a wonderful week. Thank and God so bless. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.